Hello guys, today we are going to talk about point of zero charge. So point of zero charge we also call as uh, uh, surface charge. Okay, and this is uh, uh, this is the pH at which the surface of your I mean like nano material uh, or adsorbent is uh, globally neutral and it contains as much positively charged as uh, negatively charged so both will be equivalent so below this value the surface is positively charged and beyond this value your uh, adsorbent will be negatively charged so normally it is always easier to absorb a positively charged species on a negative charged surface and an ion on a positively charged surface however there are other interactions which can be st stronger than electrostatic forces making the effect of surface not so important and additionally a positively charged species is often complex with some other species like ligands so it is uh, of them possibly uh, to be negatively charged so in this case cation is in fact a negative complex which may adsorb very well on the positively charged surface this point of zero charge experiment okay and uh, uh, before doing that first of all what we have to do is to weigh okay the right amount of i mean like normally we use uh, 0.1 molar or 1 molar of sodium chloride or sodium nitrate solutions so what we have to do we have to add 0.1 molar of sodium chloride so the sodium chloride mass here is 58.44 so if it dissolve 58.44 in 1 liter so it would be 1 normal or 1 molar so for 1 it is the whole mass you have to take and 0.1 we have to take 58.44 by 10 so now we are going to dissolve in 500 ml so in this case we would be taking 55.844 divided by 2 it's a, then it's approximately around 2.9 so now i have transferred the required amount of salt so now what i will do i will add around 500 ml of the water you can see the mark here so now what we will do we will add water till this mark and then we will heat and also mix for around half an hour okay till the water i mean like starts to boil see here the mister the mixture is already i mean like thoroughly mixed the mixture is already thoroughly mixed very well so now what i will do i will transfer these i mean like this is a little bit hot here so now what i will do i will transfer this mixture into the conic flask and then now allow, allow it to cool after cooling we will be i mean like maintaining or adjusting the ph and then the, here we have different kind of conical flask in that also i will do the weighing weighing already you have seen it in the in our last videos how we do the weighing and also you have seen how we measure the ph and how we i mean like uh, do the calibration and all the working of the ph meter so i'll give the link of that also as you can see here the ph of the assortment is around 6.08 so what we will do whatever ph we got here so we will not just be noting down the values okay and this is a, this is what this is our initial ph okay so you can name this ph initial and then we have ph final okay and already we have weight we have added around 20 milligram so we have added the same amount approximately 20 milligram in all the cases so now what we have to do so this is our around ph6 so what we will do 10 ml in all the conical flask okay so i'm going to add around 10 ml of this is ph6 0.1 molar of nacl now what i will do this is around ph6 so what do we have to do so we have to adjust the pH so we have so what I will do we have here 0.1 molar HNO3 and normally for adjusting the pH we use 0.1 molar HNO3 or point or either you can also use 0.1 molar of or normal of HCl okay so now I am going to decrease the pH in that case I will be adding 0.1 molar of HNO3 okay so we will just be showing you one of the steps and then we will be skipping the other steps okay you can see here with the help of a micro pipette I'm going to add certain drops of 0.1 HNO3 so you can see the pH will go down so you can see the pH is going down here slowly so normally in some of the literature or some of them I mean, like the books you can see that they they do I mean like they maintain the pH like this two three four and you can also do like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. But in my case, I'm just, I mean, like just putting a difference of 2, a gap, putting a, any 1 from 2 to pH, we are, I'm just putting a gap of 2. Transferring this to the pH 4 conical flask. So this is around 4.
Guys, I have transferred the whole, I mean like the conical flask with assortment or mix, mixed here. Now what I will do, I will start to shake. You can see here, this is shaking for around 290 RPM for 24 hours. So after 24 hours, guys, now the 24 hours is done. So what I will do, I will take out these vials. Okay, one by one. And put them here. This is now what we are, what we are doing, we are filtering all the samples. And after filtration, we will find out the final pH. So what we will do, we will load down the values here, okay, and then we will be doing the plotting. So I'll be skipping this step, filtered and and after filtration we measure the pH. So now what we will do, we will open up the origin software and then we will plot this. So now what we will do, we will copy these values. here so these values are now pasted so what we will do select these then okay here's plot and then we we'll choose a line symbol okay and then now what we'll do we'll name this axis and also we can change the axis okay then try to make some modifications okay so let's start this from suppose from zero try to do it from two that's better and then And then for finding out the point of zero charge, what we'll do, we'll take a line and draw from the origin. Okay, so this is our point of zero charge for locating it. So we have to choose this. Okay, so this is around 5.94. So what we will do, we'll go here and name it as 5.94. So this is our point of zero charge okay we can also name it like this so i hope this is clear